here you see I have a red ball and a green ball. The green ball, I'm going to turn off the can collide property and the red ball has the can collide property turned on. Now let's play and see what happened. Only the red ball remains on the platform. The green ball has disappeared. Why is that? Because the green ball has fallen through the platform and the base plate because the can collide property is off so it does not collide with any object inside the workspace and it falls right through. On the other hand, the red ball has the can collide property on and it stops when it hits something inside the workspace. On the right hand side of the rotate button, you find a collisions option. So with this turn off, if you move the part, you can easily move the part through another part. But with collisions turned on, it's going to stop when it hits another part. It works very similarly to the can collide property of a part, except this is colliding inside your Roblox Studio workspace.